Hey guys, Jill here, and I had a few cards that I wanted to show you. I haven't been doing a lot of stamping. Um, I had been, <laughs> but this last week, um, I've just been dealing with a lot of appointments and stuff and haven't done a lot. So, I have two cards to show you. This one, let's see, oh, oh, okay, <laughs> I made for, I couldn't even remember what I made it for, a wedding that my son went to this weekend and um, two of his friends were getting married so he asked me to make a card which is awesome that my son's asking me to make cards for him so I started with ivory paper I get that at uh, Michael's it's the recollections brand and I really like the way it takes color so I used one of my Anna Griffin embossing folders on this and actually give me a sec I'll put the other card out front here and I can tell you the name of it <clears throat> it's a really weird one Matalase M-A-T-E-L-A-S-S-E it comes with the folder itself which is kind of a woven print and then it also comes with the border so I went over the high points with tea dye ink and then I used my you know what let me just take the supply list out um, because I used <laughs> I didn't even put in here okay well I used some of my nest abilities and I've been using this one a lot so I, I have some gold printed vellum paper that I got in a rack I don't know how long ago and then I used my Artful Journey K & Company paper and I have a bunch of scraps from a project so you're probably gonna see this paper a lot I cut out a whole bunch of little butterflies and this is with the Stampin Up it's an embosslet so it cuts and embosses and it's called Beautiful Wings and I did some of the little scraps of the vellum and I put pearls in the centers of each and of course I antique those. This is a mix of I Am Roses and Wild Orchid Crafts flowers and these I colored with my Distress Stains and these were colored and then sprayed with just perfect pearls. I put a few pearls in there and here comes my cat. I swear my animals, they sense this that I'm taping. This is a Stampin' Up! set called Well Scripted. And it just says congratulations and I gold embossed it with my detail embossing powder from Ranger. And then I just added some little pink pearls all over it. And then my husband and I celebrated our 6th anniversary, yay, on the 6th of <laughs> April, which is also my birthday, my sister-in-law's birthday, and my aunt's birthday, and I know I've mentioned this before, as well as my mom's cousin's birthday. I mean, it's just like this major day. So, this is the card I made for my sister-in-law, and then I made one as an anniversary card for my husband also. This is an Inka Dinka Do stamp, the cameo, and I got this from Scrapbook, and they had it really cheap. I just stamped it again on that ivory paper and I went over it with my distress inks on this one yeah I just used the inks um, so it's bundled sage let's see here broken china and Victorian velvet and then I sprayed over it with again just perfect pearls added a few pearls in the corner and then this is a flower I got from Recollections in those jars that look just like the Prima ones and I just sprayed that with some of my spray that I used with sponge sugar and perfect pearl and then I just obviously I distressed all of the edges I used that same paper the Artful Journey and I did cover up my message here and this is a I guess I'd say a double of the gatefold and I put a nestability in here with happy anniversary on it. A butterfly from Recollections. I'm really liking those. I might have to pick up a few more. It comes with a little bit of bling on it. And I did antique that one. So there's that card for you. So 
not a lot, but that's what I've been up to. And I do have a haul video to show you because there have been some great sales lately. As well as a birthday gift from Terry, who's a um, paper lover here on YouTube. So I will come back with those. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.